within the boundaries of this state are hundreds of inactive souls. They have need of the church, and the church hath need of them. We must gather home the lost sheep. We must reach out and touch their hearts. We must show them the way to happiness. This presentation shows how one ward is seeking out and bringing home their lost sheep. This is how they are meeting their challenge. concerned about many of the people in the ward who are inactive or we felt needed strengthening in the gospel and we felt that there was a great need to be able to teach these people in a relaxed atmosphere where they wouldn't feel intimidated uh, by other people that they felt might not have the same weaknesses they did and this kind of thing and we felt that if we could get them into a home with a, someone maybe one of the best instructors in our ward they could make a good deal of progress. And so, if they could fellowship with somebody in a similar situation, feel free to ask questions and sit down in a relaxed atmosphere, we felt that they could overcome this barrier of ignorance of the gospel and, and through learning more of the gospel and its tenets and how it could bless their families, that they could make progress and hopefully become the proper patriarchs and leaders of their children and families. Since the bulk of the ward, and especially those who may be inactive or in, this, in need of this kind of a situation, are under the uh, stewardship of the elders' quorum as prospective elders or elders, of course we felt that this should be under their direction. And we invited the uh, elders' quorum president to our office to discuss the situation, and he was quite excited about the concept. And so I was assigned to work with him and helping to select the uh, instructor and the candidate to attend the first seminar and in general to get the ball rolling on. We did a lot of research uh, as to the course of discussion for the seminar and found that the biggest problem was that everything we could find was oriented to getting everybody to the temple on a certain date and then they may be dropped at that point. And so after a good deal of thought and prayer we decided that I should write a series of lessons sort of tailor-made to the needs of our ward and to these people that wouldn't put this type of pressure on them. Uh, to start off, let's consider a few of these names for the seminar. Uh, what about Brother and Sister Colin? Well, I've uh, been talking to him a little bit lately, and I, I think they're ready for us to talk to him about it. I'm able to make uh, three couples. So you need a couple more. So what? What about? We discussed this. We uh, roughly consider these families to see which ones we feel would work best together and fellowship one another during the seminar, and we try to visit the families for uh, a couple of visits before the seminar begins, and of course we visit the, the families and ask them to go to the seminar for the 12 weeks. Several visits are usually made to the family prior to the challenge being given. Brother Collins, we have prayerfully considered you and your wife's name to participate in this seminar program in which our ward is currently engaged in. And we would like to, at this time, issue you a challenge to meet with us next Sunday evening. What do you think? Hey, we can get a try to that. Wonderful. We'll meet you there next Sunday at 7 o'clock. I believe I gained my testimony during uh, the seminar. We hear from other people that, that had taken the seminar that it was a good and worthwhile uh, way to spend our time on Sunday evening. So we 
decided to take it, we're, we're glad he did. And instructed me late to his class. A congenial atmosphere, friendly laborers with common needs, sharing together an experience that gave them testimony, together working to change their lives. Eleven weeks of gospel study, soul building relationship. Sunday school, so uh, when I had the chance to attend this, it was like a refresher course to me because I had just barely got batch for the society this year. I hope that uh, through this lesson, you've learned that our Father in Heaven does love you, that He is a Father to you, that He wants to talk to you, prepare, He wants you to confide in Him the problems that you've got, and He wants to help you work out your problems just as though you fathers want to help your children work out their problems. The prayer is a very essential part. The challenge for us is to communicate with our Father in Heaven, tell Him how much you love Him and how much you desire His help, and I promise you that you'll receive that help. Well, I can see a change because when, when we took the challenge and we start to have a family prayer, and it has changed the whole family. We covered the importance of being obedient and following all of our Father in Heaven's commandments. And one of those commandments is that we attend our meetings. Uh, people make all kinds of excuses for not going, but where else can we learn the gospel but in the house of our Father in Heaven with fellow members of this church, studying under the inspiration of the Spirit. So the challenge for the next week is to obey all the principles and pay special attention to the Sabbath day and attend all of your meetings. That includes priesthood for you, Father, and it includes Sunday school, sacrament meeting, and the seminar next week. I have no idea when. I might have had it when I started. I don't know. But uh, I, know I, I just knew it was the right thing to do. Testimony building challenges. Challenges that change lives. Challenges that bring happiness and eternal union. Is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent? I feel the important part of the whole seminary or seminar was uh, when the instructor would bear his testimony. He had such a great testimony that I believe that it would strengthen all of our testimonies. But we found that uh, since the gospel was our lives and that my wife and I have started attending the temple regularly and had temple recommends and that I've become active that our whole family structure has changed and the uh, our kids are happier and uh, I'm more of a leader and we can look at each other with a real peace of mind and we have a chance to be with each other still so we just say the gospel I bear testimony do the same thing and live the commandments as our Father in Heaven wants you to live. You'll be able to be exalted with your family for all time and for all eternity. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We were married for five years before uh, we were able to go through the temple. And when we started to get active in the church and work towards the temple with men, our lives were so much different than they were before and there was a lot more happiness and peace in our family and it just made a big difference in our lives and I would advise, you know, anyone to if they have the chance to go to camp and do it because it's really neat to say. It's important that you meet with the bishop, not because of the sins you've committed, but you have to talk to him and set a goal for you and your family. You must remember that the bishop is the proper priest of this word. The bishop has concern for each and every ward member and he loves each member. 
And I had to take this initial step too, and it was probably one of the scariest steps for me to take, but probably one of the most essential steps for me getting to the temple was the fact that I did go in and talk over the problems, my problems with the bishop. And together we sat down and charted a course. And we're still on that course. And if we follow the way we charted it, we may have a chance to the celestial kingdom. As you folks do on the future chart. Your challenge is, fathers, it's your turn to take the initiative, call a bishop, and set an appointment with him. And uh, this should be done before you attend next week's lesson. Now, I'll call you midway through the week to make sure that you've called him, but you must take the responsibility. And uh, I encourage you to do so. Uh, John, I want to ask each one of you. John, are you going to accept this challenge? Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, I think it's just really exciting that you both would set up this appointment with me, as you've been challenged to do. Talk about those things that are important to you. Now, you've, been, uh, you've been to the temple before, haven't you? And how long has that been? 13 years. 13 years. It just really thrills me to see people uh, get excited about returning to the temple. You'll recall from uh, having been to the temple previously that there are certain laws and commandments that we must be living before we're entitled to a temple recommendment. Uh, you'll recall that we did the issue of all the training and have no unresolved moral problems. That we must live the word of wisdom, must pay a full tithing, must sustain the general authorities and local authorities of the church, since we've been back to the temple, I think that uh, our family's been closer. Uh, it has been 17 years since we were at the temple the last time. When we went this time, it was just the most beautiful thing that could ever happen. When me and the wife went back to the temple, the thing that we can remember the most is uh, we can put all our troubles from the outside before we go into the temple behind us, any arguments that we've had or disagreements we can go in with. And when we get inside the temple, we'll have a peaceful community. It seems like it pretty well holds even when we come out after the session. Very peaceful. At the Miller's Corn Presidency, we believe that home teachers be a very important part of our seminar program in not only helping us find the right people for these seminars, but also in the seminar, there's a point in the last two lessons that the home teacher should be involved in attending the seminar with their, with their people. And then afterwards, the seminar is over, there should be a concentrated effort in fellowshipping and following through on helping these people go to the people. I'd like to bear personal testimony of the effectiveness of this uh, elder seminar here within our ward. I think it's probably been the biggest influence of anything that we have done to stimulate attendance and activity and enthusiasm, not only within the lives of these individuals, but within the membership of the board. We, two members of our Sunday School Superintendency have come to this program. We've had one family return to the temple after 18 years, another family after 13 years. Another couple went for the first time as a direct result of being involved in this seminar. And it's been a great lesson to the war. It's, uh, it's got people excited. I think it's, it's been done through the inspiration of the Lord that this program was undertaken. Should we not then be up and doing? As we touch the lives, the world is changing. A house becomes a home, a dad becomes a patriarch. Marriages become eternal. Let us join hands with the Savior in his work to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. <laughs>